Hey YouTube, Mike Simon here with Technology, Gadgets, and Reviews. And today I picked up the Zhiyun Smooth Q 3-axis stabilizer gimbal. This thing is designed for smartphones, up to 6-inch screens, and the GoPro Hero 3, 4, and 5. This thing has Bluetooth zoom control via app, optimized stabilizing system, it's lightweight with long run times, and has multiple intelligent controls. A couple of the specifications you might be interested in is pan range of 360 degrees, tilt range of 320 degrees, and a roll range of 320 degrees. This thing can handle a device from 0.16 to 0.44 pounds. It has a built-in power pack up to 1,500 milliamp hours. Operating time is approximately 12 hours. The weight of this device comes in at 0.97 of a pound, just under one pound. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. As you see, it comes with a USB cable to charge the stabilizer itself. Comes with a carrying strap and a nice hard case along with the Smooth Q instruction manual. Now the case is pretty durable. It's not a hard plastic. Uh, but it definitely is uh, pretty nice. It's got a zipper. Uh, so once we go ahead and open this up, you'll see that it sits in there firmly with hard foam packed so this thing does not move around. Definitely easy to travel with with this case. This thing is made uh, pretty high quality. I looked for a lot of reviews and... Uh, on Amazon, this had like the highest reviews, and at a price point of 125 bucks, you can't beat it. Has a couple controls here. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth of, as I'm not really interested in the application that it comes with. Um, more of shooting video with the stabilization rather than holding it freehand. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my Galaxy S8 Plus, show you how, is how it snaps in here. Now the spring on this latch is tough. Don't get me wrong, you almost need two people to put this on. I tried to do it one-handed like this and there's just not happening. I tried to put it in sideways and pull it out and it did not work either. So I actually had to use both hands, pull it apart, and then go ahead and slide it in place. So here you'll see it holds my Galaxy S8 Plus firmly and it looks nice. Next I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demonstration on how when you turn it on the device actually activates and starts doing its stabilization and I'll do a couple pan moves forward backwards use the tilt controls on the device and you can see how it actually works. Here I'll go ahead and turn it sideways since I'm holding my GoPro in my other hand. I'm going to go ahead and turn the device on and you'll see two lights light up and the device itself will actually kick in and the motors will start stabilizing. All right, there you go. It started to level itself out. So we'll go ahead and do a couple tilts, um, panning to the right, panning to the left. We'll do a forward and then a backwards. And as you can see, the phone stays stationary of where I have it placed in the calibration. Go ahead and show you a side view of it here. And we'll go ahead and use the controls as an up and down and this is where you can position your camera, whether you want it to face up or down. Using the analog, you can uh, pull down. It'll actually turn the motors down. And as you can see, the camera or phone will stay in place. You can go ahead and push the analog up, and it will tilt the phone up in a different position. Here I'll go ahead and show you a side view on the right. 
Now this device looks awesome. It doesn't look cheaply made. And it's just, it's really light. It holds the Galaxy S8 Plus perfectly fine. And I don't see any issues with it as of yet. As you see here, I use the analog to show you what it looks like when it pans up and down. And I'll go ahead and show you on a left side view. All in all, this device out of the box is top quality. It's not cheaply made. I think I'll be highly satisfied with this as well as you will. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and put in comments. Make sure to like and subscribe my channel as I have more tech and reviews coming soon.